life, liberty v. justice, and the pursuit of happiness. Fighting for my financial freedom to show you this one thing. You can do it too, because you're worth it. Hey y'all, if there's mothers watching and you don't want your kids to hear certain words, then please take them out of the room, okay? It's a serious issue and I don't think it's ever too young to start though, okay? Well, I want to talk about molestation and rape and how Christ has healed me through that and I want to share this message that you are worth it and also if you have been molested, even if you're a man, a child, a woman, no matter how old you are, it was not your fault and there was nothing that you could do. So you need to let go of that guilt and the anger and blaming yourself because really you did nothing wrong, okay? Just remember that, okay? You did nothing wrong. It was not your fault. Please take it from me. I had to learn. It took me a long time. So you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Jesus and I love you and you are worth it. And just remember you have to love yourself and remember that it was not your fault if you were raped or molested. So when I was a young child, I started getting molested at a young age, probably I, as long as I can remember, I was molested. Probably three, four, I don't know. And then at some point I was raped and I took it, it, it was my mother's husband who did this to me. By the way, a little side note, we are on great terms. We're we speak, we're, we're like, we're cool. And I pray for him and his family and I actually thank God that he was in my life. He taught me a lot. Uh, anyway, I had his name, he adopted me. And so then when I was about 14, my parents were um, divorced and I went over to his house and that's when he raped me. So because of the rape and everything, I didn't realize, but looking back, I had post-traumatic stress disorder, otherwise known as PTSD. I had it long before that because I didn't remember being molested. And so, but when I I uh, got raped, that's when I kind of took it out on myself and blamed myself that it happened because, you know, what could I have done differently and all these things, you know. Maybe it's because I wore my bathing suit in front of him or, you know, Maybe that one time that, you know, he touched me in the attic, I should have said something or whatever. But I was scared and I was a little girl and I did the best I could. So just remember that you are doing the best you can right now and you've done the best you could all your life. If you're a parent, don't blame yourself if your kids got molested either. But just remember that, you know, fear and guilt and blame yourself and all that, that's from the devil. And I want you to let go of that. Because so it can... having the name that... Dalrymple from my mother's husband it was a stronghold on my life it was like a reminder of the rape and the guilt and all those things which is why you know when I finally let go of it I had to let go of you know all that emotional stuff and not just from the rape but all kinds of things in my life like the drugs and all that I had to change my name so that's where in 2015 that's when I finally got over all this stuff and I went and changed my name to Liberty v Justice because liberty, because uh, freedom is the most important thing mentally and spiritually, and all, of course all other freedoms. But then, you know, justice because I hate injustice, and injustice is uh, watching other people suffer and doing nothing about it, so I'm here to help you. And V because Virginia, because my great grandmother, and my, that was her name, and because it reminded me of my grandma. And there's no period in my V because my victories never end, and yours don't have to either, my friends. You are worth it. Remember, champions, you are worth it. Say it with me now. I can do anything I want to do because I'm worth it. Thank you.